Good morning, guys. I reckon I've sorted the microphone out. Yesterday's video was um, bad in terms of um, sound quality, so hopefully that's a little bit better today. Um, it's absolutely red hot in the UK, so I'm going to make this short, sharp, and sweet. And um, let's have a look at Bitcoin. I mean, I did say on yesterday's video, I said I'm looking at two options. I'm either going to short a retest of here or long a breakout above there. And so far, um, we just did continue to dive yesterday. I mean, from, I mean, let's have a look there. Yesterday afternoon, late, late evening, we did dump down and we hit that 19,200 level. We've got a little bit of a positive reaction so far. And let's see. So those two options are still on the table. We're going to wait to retest this EQ at 20,200. What happens there? is debatable we're either going to reject so we're looking for a rejection to short it down or we're looking for a breakout with a retest of this so we're looking for something very similar to a breakout maybe a retest of this region here let's get that a little bit better actually I'll put a um horizontal round so we're looking for a breakout of that region mate we're looking for a breakout potentially a rejection and then for longs we're looking for a break up from there that's what would be the ideal setup. In terms of a short, we are looking for a rejection off here. So if the price comes up and rejects off here and starts comes down, if we lose this level here, then we're going to drop down and retest this region. So two ranges we're currently looking at. We're looking at this range here and this range here, the, the high range and the lower range above the equilibrium. The equilibrium is at $20,200. So... If we do reject off 20,200, then we are going to short it and potentially come down to test these lower levels here at $18,000, $19,000, and then maybe come down to this region down at 17,000. We have only been down and retested that region once. If we came down again, there's a good chance that we do bounce because that's where we bounced last time. But then a third time, if we did hit that level, then we are going to drop lower. A lot of people are talk, talking about 14k and, and that magical 10k number, which is at lower levels, um, which would represent an 85% drop in Bitcoin, which has happened twice in previous um, cycle history. So just be wary of that too. There's nothing to say that it's going to happen the same way it did, but a lot of people, including myself, thought that price action um, would not drop around January, December time, like it has done in the past. And it's played out exactly the same. I know this time it seemed a lot more severe just due to the, the macro um, environment that we're currently in. But what's different to previous cycles when Bitcoin dropped? We had FUD back then. We had all Mount Gox in the previous history. We've had a lot of exchange hacks. We've had all sorts. We've had China FUD, Bitcoin mining FUD. There's always some narrative to bring it down. I know currently we are dropping just due to the, like, say, the macro environment and the global state of economics, but... Um, is it just that narrative that we're clinging on to and the cycle is still running the way it has been in the past? Who knows? Um, if it did drop down to 85k and bounced up and went on to create a new all-time high, you'd think, right, um, Bitcoin is doing its own thing. But so far, um, whenever the dollar is strong, Bitcoin's bad and vice versa. On that subject, let's look at the dollar. And um, I mentioned this on a tweet. I said, look, it has come into resistance. You really can't trade the, the Dixie, to be honest. But, I mean, you can look at previous history and where it's rejected. And that's what exactly what happened here. We have rejected off this region, which I've mapped up in the past, was a level of resistance. If you look here, we did that um, 120 move. We rejected. I mean, look at this. It was a clear area in the past of support and a clear area of resistance. And that's where we're currently at, at 108. So far, it's been a rejection. I'm looking for a dollar to, to drop back down here. It's about 103. 103, again, is a clear area of support here and resistance here. I mean, if we look, just scroll across a bit, it was an area that we used as support and resistance around here. So that's something that I would like to see, to be honest. On a weekly time frame, if you look at the RSI, it is into that oversold territory. So I think, hopefully, we get a nice drop to the downside, and that will give us a little bit of relief in Bitcoin because currently it's been um, shit, is a word I'd like to say. It has been very shit. So we need um, that dollar to just lose a bit of momentum for us to give a little bit of hopium back into crypto and into, um, into Bitcoin itself. But all eyes on 20,200, that's the level I'm monitoring. That's a level I really want to see some price action um, hitting. 
So that's my thoughts on Bitcoin. I'm not going to talk about any of our assets because I'm just waiting. Bitcoin is king and whenever that makes a move, the rest will follow. I did say on yesterday's video I'm going to do some of the altcoin analysis videos. I'll be doing them um, potentially tomorrow or Thursday. I'll be dropping a potential an RSR video. Um, maybe a Metis video, but we'll, um, we'll see what price action is looking like. I just want to talk about for a couple of minutes of projects that I've started um, working with and for to be honest it's a, it's a new project it's very new and it's one that's built on Elon which is something new to myself um, I've never looked into the capabilities of a U, um, the Elrond network but it's great I mean it is the first um, European backed non-carbon um, environmental blockchain UPAC is basically an application that allows you to park in city centres where they're most busy. So it's going to be tested out in Warsaw first, but it's going to target major cities, your Berlin, your London, your Manchester, your Paris. A lot of people struggle on a daily basis to park in cities. This application built on the Elrond blockchain will allow for a seamless and hassle-free way of parking in cities. This project is still in pre-sale. Um, we have the seed round, um, which sold out in eight minutes. There's five pre-sale phases. The first one, sorry, the first seed sale was complete. The second seed sale, um, due to market conditions, the market uh, wasn't so favourable, and the people are a bit scared to to back any new assets. It didn't sell out, but there will be still another four to five phases of this pre-sale. 550 million tokens is a project that. I did some full research before I joined this project because, um, I mean, it's hard to find decent projects with decent teams. It's a small team currently and I'm helping this team out with community management and running the community side of things. Um, so if you follow me and you want to um, see a project that I'm involved in, definitely check this one out. I think, I mean, I'm not going to go for all the basics. Read the white paper on my website, upark.city. Still in pre-sale phase. And I think if you're willing to to hedge a little bit of your dollars um, or your fiat into a new project, one that I'll be working for, then check it out. I'm not saying you have to, but it's just something that you should check out. It's an application basically that will find specific parking spots to you in a specific UPAC lot, which is owned by the UPAC team. You can reserve a spot and it will guide you to your spot and then that slot is given to you for a certain allocated time. It will be in... Um, airport supermarkets and also a cool concept is that you as an individual will be able to own a car parking spot which is represented by an nft nfts will represent car parking spots within that car parking spot nft you will be able to earn from that from other people using it and also from advertisement revenue for example if you're in paris and you're parking up if there's a local restaurant within that area they will be able to advertise on your parking spot, which will then show on your application. And then from that, you will earn money. And that is the same for anybody who parks in that spot where you own the NFT. You can earn revenue from advertising and people using that spot. So it's a new concept. It's a very new project. I say one, one pre-sale which half sold out and a seed sale which fully sold out in eight minutes. It's a project I'm backing, it's a project that I'm spending a lot of my time on now, and it's something that I just thought I'd show you today. Um, a little bit different to Bitcoin price analysis, and, but what I will do soon is I'll get the team on, we'll talk about our projects, and also I'll do a full review on this channel, so something for you to keep your eyes out on, and like I say, something new to this channel. So that's it for today, just some thoughts on the market and uh, a new project I'm in. But that's it, if you're new to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed, hit that like button, and I'll catch you next time.